Okay, we're going to do the lab on page 222 of your Science 9 textbook. First, we're going to rub the rubber rod, black rod on the wool. On the wool. I'm touching the electroscope to make sure that the leaves are together. You might wonder, should wonder why that's so. Move the rubber rod close, touch it. It doesn't seem to be a response, okay? I'm going to change the glass rod. Glass on wool. And touch between trials to make sure I've got the leaves together. And why, why does it do that? Move the glass rod close. You notice there's a separation. Move the glass rod away, it closes. Move the glass rod close, separation, move it away, it closes. If I touch it, I'm touching it, move it away. It's closed, but it's not totally closed. You notice that? I've touched it, move it away. It's not totally closed. And to show that, I'm going to touch the paper clip. And you see it closes right away. Show you that again. When I rub the glass rod on the wool, move it closer. The leaves open. And move it away, the leaves close. Close, but not touching. Open, move it away, close. Now, what if I touch it to open? You might notice it's slightly wider apart. And then when I move the glass rod away, Sometimes you can get it so that it's actually still slightly open. Okay, so it's not doing that for me this time, but the last time, we moved it away. You see, you can still see it. it's very slight, but the leaves aren't totally open, or aren't, aren't totally closed. They're slightly open. When I put my finger on there, you can see it closes. Okay, let's switch to silk now. So, oh, before we do that, let's do one third item on the wool. Let's try the plastic rod, the clear plastic rod on the wool. Okay, I've discharged this. Why is it called discharge? Okay, I hear some static. I move it close. The leaves are open. When I move it away, the leaves are closed. And then what happens if I touch it? The leaves are open. Okay, when I'm touching it, the leaves are open and then let go. You notice again, the leaves are slightly open. Okay. Look at that. They're wide as open. And I'm touching it right now. And I'm going to let go. It's still slightly open. And to show you that it's really still slightly open, I'm going to touch it again. And you see that it closes right away. Okay, we're done with the wool. We're going to switch to silk. So here's a uh, rubber rod on the silk. Rubbing the silk on the rubber rod. Okay, I touch it between the trials. And then I move it close. Does not appear, and I'm touching it. Does not appear to give any re result. Okay, let's use a glass rod and the silk. Rub it again. Glass rod and silk. Move it close. It's open, but not as wide as before. Move it away. It's closed. Move close, but not touching. Open. Move it away. It's closed, but it's not as wide. Okay. So that should tell you something. Compare it to glass and wool. I'm going to touch it this time. Okay, it's open. And then when I let go, see it's still slightly open, it's hard to see. And see if we can see a result. You see I'm touching it, it's open. When I move it away, you can see quite clearly that it's still slightly open. Okay? So that should tell you something. Why is it still slightly open even when I'm not touching it? I know it's even wider when I touch it, but when I let move away, it's still open. Again, uh, let's do a third comparison with the silk. Let's use the plastic rod, and I'm going to touch the uh, paper clip again. You see it closes. Touch the pla rub the plastic, the clear plastic rod on the silk. See if we have any result. Okay, again, it's slightly open, not as wide open as before with the wool. And move it away, it's closed. What happens when I touch it? When I touch it, it's still open. When I move away, it's closed, but let's see if we can get it to do like what the glass rod did and what it did with the wool last time with the glass rod. You see there? Can we make it so that it stays open when I don't touch it? And it doesn't appear to be working with that like it did with the wool. Okay, so I'm touching it, even I'm touching it, and now you see that this time it's not letting me keep it open. Rod away. Okay. See, when I rod the rod touching or close, it's open. But when I move the rod away, for some reason, 
it stays closed. So let's remind you of the result with this clear plastic rod and the wool. When you close, it's open. When you touch it, it's open. And you know, but notice it's open even wider than with the silk. And then when I move it away, it's still ever so slightly open. Okay. So I know it's hard to see, but I'm touching it. And when I let go, it was still slightly open even after I've uh, moved the rod away. See, it's still slightly open. Okay? So you should be able to do the questions now on your lab.